weekly dose of African aviation. Thank you for joining me on this week's edition of Weekly Dose of African Aviation on my channel Aviation Info Way. As usual, I will bring to you the latest updates and happenings in the aviation sector in Africa. In this week's edition, I shall bring you updates from Kameko Cameroon Airlines Corporation. I will be talking also about Nigerian Max Air, talking about Carbon Afrijet, Air Senegal, Tak Angola, Passion Air and many others that will be coming up in this edition. After two years of suspension, Cameroon Airlines Corporation Cameco announces the resumption of flights to Chad. Last December, Cameco started its flight to Libreville, Gabon, thus beginning the reconstruction of its regional network. Starting April 24th, the Cameroon National Carrier will start flights to N'Djamena, Chad, a line that is direct from Douala and Yaoundé. Meanwhile, before I proceed, are you still new to Aviation Info? Please don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any of my aviation uploads. Air Senegal increases flight offer to US for the summer 2022. On September 2, 2021, Air Senegal inaugurated its service between Senegal and the United States. Through this initiative, the Senegalese airline company came up to fill the void left by South African Airways and to put an end to Delta Airlines' monopoly. For cargo routes, TAC Angola, in partnership with GDL Express, launches cargo flights to Sao Paulo. Tak Angola launches a Hong Kong South Paulo line for cargo flights in partnership with GDL Express. On this runway, the Tak Angola lines up its Boeing 777 converted to a luxury cargo airplane to operate this route. Simie becomes South African first operator of the Sea Region 900. A plane H6 arrived in Johannesburg on Sunday 3, 2022 from Estonia after a successful stop in Khartoum and Entebbe. And in Kenya Airways, Kenyatta government pumps in $174 million into Kenya Airways. Since 2013, Kenya Airways has been at loss. In 2020, the coronavirus pandemic has come to drown the Kenyan national carrier the more. Since then, she has received severe financial aid from the state, allowing the national carrier to cope up with charges. And with Air Botswana, Gaboron moves ahead with Air Botswana privatization plan. Initiated for six years, all attempts to privatize Air Botswana have come to this point. Yet, Botswana state has lost hope of finding an investor to redynamize the national career, which has over the years become an important financial burden to the public treasury. Nigerian Max Air retired its oldest Boeing 747. The oldest of the three Boeing 747-400 series of Max Air pulls his blow. The device left Kano on the 29th March to Arizona, United States, mainly known as Aircraft Cemetery. Gabon's Afrijet airline converts one of its ATR-72-500 into a freighter aircraft. Afrijet Gabon's most important and popular airline wants to invest more on the air freight segment in its revenue diversification strategy. To get there, she intends to rearrange her fleet. Early this month, April 2022, one of the ATR 72-500 was transported to France to undergo a conversion to an all-cargo configuration. After six years of operation, Afrik Jet suspends flights to Sao Tome. 
despite several incidents that have occurred since 2019 on the South Tommy platform and the deteriorating climate of business, Afrijet had chosen to continue to be at the service of its customers. This time, flights to South Tommy will be suspended because of weather conditions. Meanwhile, this has been all we brought to you on this week's edition on Weekly Dose of African Education. Seeing new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and kindly share us your thoughts in the comment section.